Hello, I'm Arthur Bletchley, a Chartered Valuation Surveyor with B-Valued Limited in Cardiff, UK. And in this series of videos, I'm talking about surveys and valuations in particular. A client may want a valuation, particularly of a domestic property, for different reasons. It could be for inheritance tax or probate, capital gains tax. It could be that they share the ownership with a housing association or purchased under help to buy and are staircasing or proposing to sell the property and in those circumstances are required to obtain a valuation from a chartered valuation surveyor. Uh, the client could unfortunately be in a matrimonial dispute or a dispute may be another nature and require a retrospective valuation. The client could be contemplating purchasing the property and may have commissioned a separate RICS condition survey, home buyer's report, or building survey, or maybe even require a standalone valuation uh, to help them make up their mind about purchasing the property. So what would the client expect to get in a valuation report? I'm going to take you through one now just to show you very quickly. Obviously, there'll be a title page, and then We'll explain the purpose of the valuation, the assumed date of the valuation, and perhaps set out recent market trends, and obviously state the market value, unless perhaps the client is looking for a rental value, set out the date and extent of the inspection, it may refer to any separate survey which has been done. I'll just set out briefly the situation, communication, and the amenities of the property its description, i.e. whether it's a flat or a house, terraced or detached, construction, age, apparent state of repair, accommodation and services, all briefly, its tenure, i.e. whether it's freehold or leasehold, any easements or rights of way, any tenancies that the property is subject to, planning, its existing use, possibly any development potential, environmental issues, contamination, flooding, minerals, council tax perhaps, a statement of the valuation approach, uh, probably with reference to the comparable method of valuation, where the valuer will be probably using recent local sales or, or lettings of comparable property. A limitation of liability will be set out, Consent to publication, there probably will be no consent. Uh, confirmation that the valuation is done in accordance with the RICS Red Book, um, as set out in uh, January 2015, that's the latest edition, or international valuation standards. The report will be signed and dated. And any sort of assumptions, for example, with new property that uh, it's registered with the NHBC, National House Builders, registration council as it used to be called that sort of thing will also be explained so if you're looking for evaluation particularly of a residential property then um, i'd be very pleased to help you and you can easily contact me thank you very much